This is a very important piece of research that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to also play a video because I'm demonstrating that we are consistently ahead of what you will find in science. So what happened is that this paper turned up quite recently. It seems complex. Applying spectral analysis to the arterial pulse to discriminate cardiovascular side effects following administration of Moderna's mRNA-1273 vaccine. Essentially, what they're finding is that the arteries change in terms of stiffness. They become more stiff after vaccination. Now, I had done a whole presentation on this because I have been anticipating that the mechanism related to this is damage to the blood vessels around the outside of the arteries. This is why I said this research is way ahead of what you're going to find. So what we did is not just put together a whole presentation, but we have put together a video that hopefully describes the principles in relation to why this is happening and what it means. This is a short video, an explainer video. It's about nine minutes long, so it's not that short. Additionally, here is what I want you to do. When you watch this video, because you should recognize the importance of the science around it, what you are then going to do is you are going to go in the description and you're going to follow the link to one of our articles. This is it here. Looking at the blood vessel crisis, how spike protein may have aged our arteries by a decade and what you can do about it. You will then have a full article to look at, but don't just look at the article. I want you to sign up for one of the best weekly newsletters in the world, certainly in my opinion, and this is the kind of detail that we go into. It takes all the explanations about what is happening, why it's happening, the science of it, and the links to it. This is the kind of article that we produce in collaboration with Lumientia, who produces some of the most incredible images. What we'll be showing you as well is one of the videos in relation to that. So this is what you do. Watch this, go in the description, Click on the link, make sure you put your email address in so that you subscribe because the insights you get, you will only find there. And this is how we'll continue to build information for you that is relevant. So now, as I come back to this in just a minute, watch this video for the explanation as to what is actually going on. Here we go. What if I told you there's a test that can predict your heart attack risk 10 years before it happens? And it was invented 300 years ago by a priest in a barn with a nine-foot glass tube. Right now, you can have normal blood pressure and cholesterol while your arteries quietly stiffen, raising your risk for heart attack, stroke, brain fog, and kidney damage and most doctors aren't even checking for it. Let's rewind a few thousand years to ancient Egypt, where the body's vessels were regarded as the river of life. People knew the network was vital, but nobody understood how it truly worked. The Roman physician Galen taught that blood moved like tides, an error that lasted 1,300 years. Imagine following the wrong map for a millennium. It's a powerful reminder that medical knowledge constantly evolves. What we know today could possibly be inaccurate tomorrow. The English physician William Harvey mapped circulation in 1628, but measuring blood pressure, that took a country priest with a nine-foot glass tube. Around 1710, Stephen Hales was the village pastor in Teddington on the Thames. Born in 1677, he embodied the Enlightenment ideal of the natural philosopher, equally devoted to theology and experimental science. While tending to his congregation's spiritual needs, Hales pursued questions that fascinated him. 
He invented artificial ventilation for ships, studied plant physiology, and designed ventilators for prisons. Work that earned him the Royal Society's Copley Medal and a memorial in Westminster Abbey. But his greatest contribution would come from investigating blood circulation. Unlike his predecessors who theorized about blood movement, Hales figured out a way to measure it directly. Here's where it gets absolutely wild. On December 1st, 1733, Hales secured a white mare scheduled for slaughter and inserted a brass pipe into the animal's left crural artery. To this pipe, he attached a glass tube nine feet in height. When he untied the ligature, blood shot up eight feet three inches above the heart, bobbing two to four inches with each pulse. For the first time in human history, blood pressure had a number. But Hales noticed something else that would take us 300 years to fully understand. When the mare struggled, the blood rose higher. When she was calm, it fell. He documented how the pulsations corresponded exactly with the heartbeat. Hales studied multiple animals of different ages and sizes. He noted that arterial walls were elastic and that this elasticity seemed to vary between animals. He described how the pulse became progressively weaker as the blood vessels branched, suggesting the vessels were absorbing some of the force. He turned affairs of the heart from poetry into physics. Hales was describing what three centuries later we now call pulse wave velocity, or PWV, the speed at which pressure waves travel through arteries. Every heartbeat creates a pressure wave. If your vessels are young and springy, the wave travels more slowly because the walls flex and cushion the surge. If your vessels are stiff, because of age, inflammation or lifestyle, the wave zips along faster, like a knock traveling through a metal pipe. And faster waves mean you're aging from the inside out. Typical pulse wave velocity in flexible arteries is about 5 to 7 meters per second. In stiff, aged arteries, it's 12 to 15 or more. Each 1 meter per second increase is linked to roughly a 15% higher risk of cardiovascular events. That's why many experts refer to pulse wave velocity as vascular age. It's a helpful way to understand what's happening inside because blood pressure can look fine while vessel walls are failing. Pulse wave velocity tells you how old your arteries appear. Remarkably, Hales predicted organ damage from arterial stiffness centuries before we proved it. He discovered that organs need balanced pressure to function. When arteries stiffen, that balance fails. Your body starts breaking down. Here's why this matters. Cardiovascular deaths are rising sharply. Between 2020 and 2022, there has been a 9.3% increase. According to Cedar sinais analysis of CDC data, heart attack deaths among 25 to 44-year-olds jumped 29.9% in 2021 compared to pre-pandemic levels. The scary part? Most had normal blood pressure readings, but their pulse wave velocity might have revealed the truth years earlier. Because here's what your doctor probably doesn't know about pulse wave velocity. You can have textbook blood pressure, 120 over 80, while your arteries are as stiff as someone 20 years older. Standard tests miss this completely. When your arteries stiffen, here's what's likely to happen. Your heart works harder against the resistance and thickens like an overworked muscle, increasing heart attack risk. Your brain gets hammered by pressure waves, leading to brain fog now, dementia later. Your kidneys, microscopic filters wear out from the constant pounding, resulting in dysfunction. Three vital organs one root cause, all happening before your blood pressure looks bad. But here's the good news. 
there are five steps you can take this week to begin improving your pulse wave velocity. Step one, measure. Ask your doctor specifically for pulse wave velocity testing or vascular age assessment. Screenshot this video title if it helps start the conversation. If they don't offer it, find someone who does. Step two, track. Get a home pulse wave velocity monitor. Check twice daily, morning and evening. Measure while standing and take two to three readings each time. You're looking for patterns, not single readings. Step three, move. 150 minutes of moderate exercise weekly. That's just 21 minutes a day. Walking counts, dancing counts, playing with your kids counts. Step four, eat Mediterranean. Olive oil, fish, nuts, legumes, herbs, colorful vegetables. These contain compounds that keep your arteries flexible. Think of them as natural rust prevention for your blood vessels. Step five, recover. Sleep seven to eight hours every day. Sleep is vascular medicine. Practice simple stress relief exercises, such as meditative breathing. Hum while you shower or do chores. It naturally boosts nitric oxide, a molecule that keeps vessels flexible. Remember, three centuries ago, a village priest in a barn didn't just discover blood pressure. He proved that what gets measured can be managed. He turned mystery into math. If you're 40 with the arteries of a 60-year-old, you've got time to reverse it. But only if you know. Subscribe and share this video with someone over 35. It might add years to their life. Right now, your arteries are aging at a specific, measurable speed. Most people never find out until it's too late. Pulse wave velocity testing, or vascular age assessment, reveals the truth. But even simple changes this week can start reversing the damage. Vascular aging isn't your destiny. It's a warning. This video is educational. So yes, as I said, we're bringing you cutting edge information way ahead of anything that you will hear. And what we want you to do is join this journey with us because nobody's telling you this stuff. This is especially important after COVID and the damage that has happened to vascular health from multiple things during the pandemic and sadly, not just infection. So remember, outside of the fact that you need to share this with people who are concerned about their health or who you are concerned about their health, here is what you need to do. One, there is a link in the description that will give you a full detailed presentation with regards to what is happening. This is our article, which we put together from our presentation. When you read it, make sure you sign up for our Vision Med weekly newsletter. These are the kinds of information that we share all the time with you all. And I want you to make sure that you don't miss it because you never know when you may lose contact with me as you have seen how much my videos are being suppressed. Don't miss the opportunity to keep up to date with this kind of science. We are trying to help you in whatever way we can all we ask you to do is to join the journey. As I said, that's your opportunity, and this is something you can do. Thank you very much for listening. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. A hero, an immune adventure, Humming Heroes, your lyrical guide to the body's defenders. Now on Amazon, check the links below.